Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to make one page website in WordPress using Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do to make the one page website with the help of Elementor, we have to install Elementor plugin. So for that, we have to go inside plugins and click on add new plugin. And here, let's just write down Elementor. Alright, so as you can see this, we have the Elementor here. So we have to install this and I have already installed and activated this. So after this, what we need to do, what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance and click on appearance and you can see the themes here. So we have to click on this. All right. So here in the themes, we have to select the Astro theme. Okay. So let's click on activate since I've already installed this. So we have to click on activate now and now we'll be able to see that we are using Astro theme. Okay. So after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the menus. So in the menus, we need to create the new one. So we have to select this as the primary menu. I just click on create menu. All right. So here in the menus, we have to add the custom links right now. All right. So I would actually like to add home. So the text would be home about us. Here it would be about us. Services. Here we're going to write down the services. All right. And similarly, we're going to add the testimonial. All right. So let's just click on add to menu. Now let's click on save menu. Okay. So after adding the menu, what we need to do, we have to go inside the customize. All right. So here, as you can see this, we are basically using the default template of the Astro theme. So if you wanted to customize the header, you're going to simply click on the header builder. And from here, you can see this, we have the three different options. So if you wanted to add the site title and the logo, you'd simply click on here. And from here, you can change the logo from here. You can change the width of the logo. Or if you wanted to add the site title, you can also enable this. Okay. So if I wanted to have the site title and the logo, I just simply click on here and you will be able to see we have the title and the logo as well. And if I wanted to put this on inline, you can simply enable this. But right now I'm going to simply disable this and I don't want to have the title. All right. So after this, you also have the option of the design. So you can basically change the color of the title and the tagline if you're using the title. But right now, since we are not using this, so we're going to simply go back, go back here. And you can see this, we also have the primary menu. So let's click on here. And here we have to configure our primary menu that we have created earlier. So let's click here and here, click here. And you can see this, we have the menu. And here you can see this, we have our menu item that we have created. So that is how we can add our menu. So now let's just go back and I'll just go back again. Okay. So after here, you can see the option of the social. So if you wanted to have the social icon on the header, you can simply have it. So let's click on the social and you'll be able to see that we have the Instagram, Facebook and the Twitter. So if you wanted to add more social icon, you can simply do this from here and you will be able to see the social icon here. But right now I would like to disable all of these. So let's remove all of these from here. All right. So now this is looking better. Okay, so now let's go back. I think we are done here with the header. So let's click on publish. And now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. All right, so here now what we need to do, we have to go in the pages. All right, so since we wanted to create the one page website, so I will be deleting this one that was already created by the Astro theme and we'll simply create our new page. So let's delete this. And now let's click on add new page. And here, what you need to do, let's just add the name of the page. So let's just have this as home. Click on add it with Elementor. All right. So here you will be able to see the header of the Astro theme. So now what we need to do. All right. So here you can see this. We still have these icons. So we need to adjust this letter. But right now, what we need to do, we just have to add the different section. So for that, I won't be designing from the scratch. I will just simply use the templates that we have and the elementor. So let's click on here, add template. And here you can see the blocks, different blocks that we can add. But unfortunately, all of these blocks are part of pro version. So what we can do here right now, we can simply use the pages. So in the pages, we have a kind of this template that we can use right now. So let's select this one, click on insert. Now we have to connect the account if you're using this for the first time. Alright, so now let's connect our website with our Elementor account. 
all right so now you will be able to see that the template that we have selected are inserted in our home page so it has a different sections but right now i only wanted to have some of these sections so we need to delete the other sections here so let's just delete the benefit because i don't need this and we will also delete the cta let's just delete the header as well because we already have this all right so now i think this is looking fine all right so here on the second hero i will need to change the name here so that would be about us all right so now this is looking better all right so now you can see here we have our hero then we have about us services testimonial footer and the copyright so if i scroll down you will be able to see all of these options here okay so that is why we don't have to create the things from the scratch right now but if you wanted to do the customization or design the things on your own you can do that but right now if you even wanted to customize this template you can also do this okay you can simply click on the element and from there you can simply customize this okay so now what we need to do we actually have to connect our menu option with the different sections okay so for the home if i just go to the hero and if i just select this go to the advanced and here what i need to do i actually have to add the css ID. so here it will be home and for the about us i would need to add the about us okay so here you have to remember one thing we will need to add the css id exactly the ones that we use when we were creating our menu okay with the hash but here you don't have to write down the hash and after this we have the services so let's go here and add the css id so that would be services and after this what do we have we have testimonials so let's have to do the same thing here again all right so now this is looking perfect all right so now what we have done we have linked our menu items with our different sections so now this will behave as a one page website okay so let's just publish this and now if i just click on have a look you will be able to see when i just click on any of these menu options it will simply redirect me to the corresponding section so let's click on services you will be able to see we are redirected to the services and in a similar way if i just click on the about us it will redirect us to the about us so that is how we can create one page website with the help of elementary okay so now we need to fix one thing so we don't want to have these icons so now we're going to go back into our wordpress dashboard so let's go here click on here and here we have to click on exit all right so now what we need to do so the first thing that we need to do is to have this our home page as our main page but right now this is not the main page so if i just remove this url from here this is not our main page so we have to set this as our main page first so how can we do this we simply go back click on setting and we have to click on reading here and here you have to select the home page display that would be static so we have to select the home page so that is the home page that we have created all right so now let's click on save changes and now if i just go back to our website refresh the page you will be able to see our template here okay so now let's go back into our dashboard and here we have to fix one thing we have to go inside the customize all right so now let's just go here inside the header builder just like before all right so now let's just click on do the social all right so here what we can do here we can simply remove this from here as well but the easier way it would be to remove the social from here so if i just remove this from here you won't be able to see the social icons okay but if i wanted to add this i can simply add it from here you can see here we have this option on the social so if i just click here again so the social icons will be added again okay so now let's just remove this now let's click on publish and if you just go back to our website refresh the page now you'll be able to see that we don't have any social icon okay so if i just now click on the services again you'll be able to see we are getting redirected to there and if you wanted to go to the top you would simply click on here and this is how it works and this is how we can create the one page website in wordpress with the help of elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel